Hey y'all, happy, I was gonna say Tuesday, today is Monday. I am back in Dallas, just got back from Kansas City late last night for a home going service. Um, y'all, I told y'all, I think the previous vlog to this was the moving vlog, I think. Anyway, so I have an event, I don't, I'm, am I looking in the right place? Okay, I have an event tonight, which you can probably tell as tired as I look that I <laughs> I probably should stay home and go to bed. But I RSVP'd before I left. So I'm going, y'all, it's still completely empty in here. So I'm going to this Friendsgiving bring a, a theme board party. And so when I got the invitation, one, I was really excited to go. And secondly, I immediately was like, I'm going to do a cranberry themed party board so um i'm gonna show you what i purchased and then once i put it all together i'll show you and then if i can get some footage from the event i'll do that i believe this event is like a lot of like the dallas black women like food bloggers food content creator community so i know a couple of the ladies there i know um I think I know two of the ladies that are gonna be there. So I'm excited to go meet some new people, see what their boards come up with. But yeah, um, I might go grab a stand for my phone so I can show you what all I purchased. And then I've gotta find an actual plate because even though I have a wooden board to put it on, like if I was building the board here and leaving it here, then it would be fine. But because I have to transport it, I need something that has a lip on it. So. We're gonna see what we're gonna come up with because um, it's almost four o'clock, the event's at 6.30. I still need to dress, do something to my head, all that kind of stuff. But I wanna get this board put together. And I thought that I, you know, I thought that y'all might enjoy seeing me put together a cranberry inspired charcuterie board. Okay. Okay, so I hope that you can see all of this. The camera's kind of at a weird angle, but I'm gonna start with the kind of like the inspiration. I knew I wanted to add this um, cranberry orange goat cheese to the board. Um, and so I knew like immediately when they said a board, I knew I was gonna start with this, right? So I got a cranberry orange goat cheese. And then this is a cranberry chipotle cheddar. I thought that would be cool. And then something just simple, um, and you'll see why I got this, is just some brie. So I had three kind of cheeses, and then I picked up um, two, I guess, meats. <laughs> um, I've got applewood smoked turkey breast here, and then I picked up some beef salami. Okay, so three cheeses, two meats, and then let me show you like the crackers that I got. So I got these Rainforest crackers. These are cran cranberry and hazelnut crackers. I thought these would be good. And then I also got these cranberry pumpkin seed crackers, right? So we're continuing with the cranberry theme. So two different cranberry crisps, okay? Our two different meats, our three different cheeses, and then everything else is kind of supplements, like a supplement, right? So I wanted to add something fun. So I got this cranberry walnut crunch popcorn. I thought that would be cool. Just a little snack snack to go on the board. I also got this cranberry walnut bread. I thought this would be great. I think the brie would taste really good on top of this, okay? And then also I picked up obviously some dried cranberries and these are the amaretto frosted pecan. So like that little fruit and nut mixture. And then I got some rosemary crackers because I just feel like rosemary and cranberry is just a classic combination. And then just some plain crackers to kind of offset the sweetness of these. And so plenty of bread. So one, two, three, four, five breads because people kind of fill up on that kind of stuff. Two meats, three cheeses, a little nut and fruit situation. Then I picked up this cranberry cherry Cabernet um, like spread. I thought this would be really good with the smoked turkey and the brie, maybe on this plain 
um, cracker or on this rosemary cracker. So this is my little dip slash spread that I want to add into there. And then for garnish, I just picked up some fresh rosemary. Like I ordered this first, but then when I went to the store, I wanted something a little bit longer. So I thought the green would really pop. And then I also wanted some fresh cranberries. Now, here's the thing. I was going to do <laughs> sugared cranberries. I don't, I, I, I'm not about to do that. I figured the frosted pecans will give it the winter wonderland look because here's the thing, even though this is a cranberry themed board, it's not gonna read super red. And so I just thought some fresh cranberries would be a great garnish. Okay, so that is it as far as everything that I purchased. Now I just need to figure out what, I'm, what platter I'm gonna put this on and how I'm going to put it together. So stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so I think I've come up with a solution, which is I'm using a sheet pan that's not that pretty. I put these placemats on top and some parchment. So what I wanna do now is I kinda wanna start placing things together on here just to kinda get a feel like if I'm gonna have enough room for everything. You know, I got my different cheeses here, right? So I'm kinda thinking about that. I'm thinking about like, I'm gonna grab some ramekins. So I've got like a big ramekin, I've got small ramekins. So yeah, so I'm thinking maybe this can go in here, maybe some nuts in this one, maybe some dried cranberries in this one, and then I need, I need another one for the popcorn. So actually, let me, let me grab something for the popcorn. So the popcorn can be in this one. Yeah, this is gonna work. And then I can fill in the meat, the crackers, the different things. I actually may use all four big size ramekins. Let me see how that's gonna look. Let me grab, let me switch out these small ones and see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, let's see what it looks like if I do all big size ramekins. Ooh, I don't love it. Yeah, I don't love it um, because it doesn't really leave, like, I mean, I guess all of this could be meat and crackers and then in the little crevices, cranberries and rosemaries. What do we think? Maybe I do the preserve in something small, yeah? Yeah, maybe we do the preserves in something small like that. Okay, that might be a moment, okay? You know, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go with and I, now I'm just gonna start putting it all together. Yes, I have washed my hands. <laughs> okay, so I changed up some of the vessels. Like I've got a square looking one right here. I've got a more round smooth one right here. And I thought this would be great to put this on because I can tell this is gonna be a little bit messy. So I am just going to get into this and see how it goes. I'm definitely gonna speed up this part.
and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I could have used a little bit more meat and some more greenery, but I think it looks great. I may use up the rosemary. The rosemary is looking a little special, but that's what we got. Well, y'all, I am leaving later than I had originally. Oh, let me turn it back on. Than I wanted to, but I am on my way, and I'll see if I can get some footage while I'm there. Just wearing a little, you know, a little holiday green. See how I do? I'm out of breath because I'm running around. Okay, I'll see y'all there. Hi, you don't know me. My name is Brady, Brady's Foodie Diary. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. Hi, Brady. So I really wanted to get a picture of the Christmas tree hopefully build some bonds with each other and maybe continue to work with each other outside of tonight's event. Um, I wanted to do a good deed also. So we're doing like a give back uh, portion as well. If you didn't, it's okay. Um, we have lots of wonderful food here. <laughs> yes. 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 Good job. Yes, good job for y'all. And so Nico and I, we both sent out some videos. Did anybody watch the videos for inspiration? Yes. You watched the video inspiration, some of you guys? No. So, yeah, yeah. If you have a board that you can't easily pick up, you're just gonna pick it up, we're gonna walk in with our board and then put it back where it is. But if not, if not, then you can just kind of stand by your board and present it because we want to get everybody with what you brought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Nico with the Coupon Nico in the Dish. I'm so happy to have you here at my home. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm, I also wanted to know people um, within this industry. And here represented tonight, you have food bloggers, obviously, who cover um, actual recipe development and restaurant coverage. We're going to have people in the food and beverage industry. Um, actually here you also have restaurant tours and um, different people have retail chains within the city so it's wide like so make sure you network make sure you get to know everybody um, share your information like she said so you can work with some of these folks outside of here or collaborate with other people but I'm super excited to have you um, and I hope that we can this is success that we can do this again yes. All right, so let's do our board presentation. I'll start off. You might as well just walk back in. I think I'm going to do it.
a little bit about, so concise, not, you know, on all day. But a little bit about. <laughs> right, right, right. Keep it short. Right. A little bit about what you do. So, yeah. 30 seconds. Right here. <laughs> so, my name is Brandy. I am Brandy's Foodie Diary. And I am a food blogger. I kind of started accidentally, but then it kind of picked up. I like to focus on black owned businesses for the most part, um, as well as minority and women owned businesses. And that's my passion. I really want to help really good black owned businesses get in front of people and succeed. And that's what drives me. That's what keeps me going. I'm also a teacher full time. Um, I'm a high school teacher. I teach African American studies and economics, and I love that as well. So um, that's the gist of me. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, I'll go next. Uh, my name is Miko Temple. My food blog is Miko in the Dish. Um, it's mostly like geared around me developing recipes, comfort food recipes, but it's starting to evolve into a conversation about like food and identity, food and, ancest and ancestry. Um, I'm also the founder of Eat the Culture, which is an organization that's devoted to amplifying black voices in the food space. Um, so check that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, I've been doing it for a while now and I do it full time and it's, you know, it's really, evolved into something that has allowed me to explore kind of who I am, it's particularly from a person who's, come, who's um, a descendant of someone who's like been adopted. And so like food is like how I'm trying to figure out who I am. <laughs> so um, I wanted to share more of that, but that's it. Yeah, that's my vlog and I hope you guys Yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm Daquilla. It's your girl, the foodie body. Mm -hmm. And um, I pretty much focus on really all kinds of food. Um, and I also do lifestyle stuff. So it's like food and bae, like the batty at the same time. <laughs> so that's pretty much me. Yeah. Yay. So we're kind of a package deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we do travel and we focus a lot on text a mishmail. Jessica. Yeah. So we travel around Texas and we showcase what Texas has to offer and with that comes the travel on her page, which is my curly adventures and then all the cuisine and food we eat goes on my page, my culinary adventures, so it kinda of just works out. And yeah, you might want to I'm of African descent, born and raised in Zambia. I've been in Dallas sixteen years, so I kind of been trying to pivot to like showcasing what like Dallas and Texas are to has to offer for like African foods and like, you know, black like food and all of that, so yeah. yeah. I don't use that. That's right. <laughs> 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 we're, we're a package deal. <laughs> Just because I was eating out a lot and they were always like asking me for recommendations but I switched over and started focusing more on how to eat out gluten-free um, so I found out I had a gluten allergy back in 2014 um, and it's been a journey so I figured I'd just kind of share that as well as kind of like lifestyle as well as travel so I love it I think I'll make since you're talking about gluten free. I'm also gluten free. Um, <laughs> and my name is Brittany. Um, I also have a food blog, but haven't updated it in a while because of the gluten free thing. But I did venture off and I just started my own business. Uh, we Picks Letters, which is um, content writing and photography. So that's what I do. Sorry, we didn't cover everybody. <laughs> Um, my name is Krista. Um, 
We used to be a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> we used to food block together. Okay, so that's it. Um, <laughs> um, we used to food block together. I was part of the each blog, and um, I'm a recruiter, and that's what I do for my life. But I also cook. Um, I do that on the side, my side piece. Um, I keep it in the closet when people want to pay me. So. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm India. Um, I have a food blog called The Eats Blog that I have not updated since December of last year. Because um, I got a new job. I'm a director of marketing and I work for some restaurants in the Dallas area. So that takes up all my time now. And that is all about me. I love food photography. I love all things food. So my job is like really great. So I'm excited. Okay, hey everybody, I'm hey. Ashley, I go by Frogolous Veggies, so my platform is vegan, I was vegetarian for eight years and then recently two years in vegan, so I do recipes, I do reviews of different vegan products so you don't have to spend the money, I do it for you, um, restaurants, you name it, and I used to cook and I was a little chefing it up situation. Mm -hmm. She knows. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got my corporate job and I was like, yeah, no, we're going to slow that up. So yeah, make sure to follow. I love these stories. Yeah. All right, I guess I'm next. Uh, I'm Jordan, everybody. Uh, Dubs Grubs is my page. Uh, started out, I really just tried food, but now it's kind of been evolved into promoting black owned businesses and restaurants. Uh, I don't exclusively do black owned, but probably like 95% black owned. Um, yeah. I, Ex-teacher, yes sir, sir, my time. I'm retired. Uh, okay, no, I'm retired from teaching. Um, I work at, I'm a project manager um, uh, when I'm not doing dope stuff. So yeah, I get to go around eating food. It's pretty great. Awesome. Oh, it's me. Yes. Hey everybody, um, I'm Evelyn, a former engineer turned chef. And so, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, so, uh, been a chef for the past uh, 13 years, did cooking classes for most of that, and now I have a culinary entrepreneurship company called Gourmet Grad School, where I teach people how to earn income outside of a traditional restaurant kitchen, or how to get premium clients. Oh, oh. Nice. 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 <laughs> Um, I am a food slash lifestyle blogger. I kind of also slowed down as well just because I realized that I was the only one getting fat and everybody else wasn't. <laughs> and I was trying to figure it out. And I Listen. experience some things that most people will be mad so don't tag me tonight in your post but I love food so I've kind of transitioned my business probably through the pandemic I I had to return a lot of refunds for wedding cakes during the pandemic and that was a come to Jesus moment for me but no I really love my corporate job for my day I'm a chief of staff so chief of staff for a healthcare consulting firm so that keeps me busy but um, I just really love food, and my followers have always just like gravitate to what I do, whether it's cakes or the seasonings. But right mm -hmm. now, I'm transitioning, just really trying to monetize my reviews. That's been pretty lucrative these past few months. So yeah. keep following yeah. me. Yeah. But so happy to be here amongst like minds and all to be joined together for the love of food. So. Yeah. 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 Hello. Uh, 
Um, I'm Amber, or I go by AJ, or Auntie Ambam on Instagram, and then I just joined TikTok, it's a little weird, but uh, like, the little babies are, I'm trying to get down with them, so I'm yeah. high yeah. 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 much, but okay, so I'm kind of like a free spirit, I go with like the flow of my life, yeah. so I started out as an international travel blogger. Um, it's something that I've done all my life. I didn't think it was something that would like influence people to travel, but believe it or not, people loved it. And then um, I had to change my diet. I tell people I accidentally went vegan because that was not the plan. I like macaroni and cheese and chicken and all that, but I had to do it um, and then it gravitated. So I started teaching people how to make like plant-based food. And right now I, um, I quit my nine to five a couple years ago, and so I'm in entrepreneurship, trying to figure that out. Like on the internet, they talk about, like they glamorize it. It is, it is definitely. No. 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 Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I have a story. So I'm figuring out the entrepreneurship life, and so I run an herbalism business, teaching people how to take like sea moss or uh, different loose leaf herbs. Is now so starting people on the basics of like this is what it is, and this is how you use. It, and this is what it does for your body. So I actually have some tea samples over there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, we're the last ones in the corner. I'm Marissa. This is Mom and Jeff. Um, we own Cookie Society. Yeah. It's good to see y'all. Um, it's been so exciting working with a lot of you guys, and I don't get a chance to tell you guys because I'm not always in the store, but I'd be really grateful for y'all coming by. Because I, I recognize your faces. So. <laughs> We're packaged there. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to say. <laughs> Let's go over to this corner. Yeah. We did that with yeah. yeah. No, no, we missed oh, someone. We missed someone. Miss I, I don't make food, uh, but I make liquor. Uh, <laughs> and we appreciate you. <laughs> Founded a nonprofit called the Two Fly Foundation. Yes. We provide travel grants, passports, oh. education. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 So yes. thank y'all for y'all support. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So yes, yeah, so I do that. Um, we've been able to help over 300 you know, students travel the world. So I'm really passionate about that. Um, Oh, one thing that I will add, because hearing our stories, uh, it reminded me of this, what we like to do is like teach our black and brown students that are about to travel uh, about the world through the five senses. Mm -hmm. uh, so one aspect of that is through taste, so we yeah. have them kind of look up recipes, cook recipes from around the world. Yeah. So for some of y'all that, that lines up, hit me up, you can figure out how to make it work. Yeah. And, uh, I love like yeah. black folk businesses and, and all of that as well. So. Chef, uh, that's my wife. 
And um, what, 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 other fan, what other questions y'all have? You supposed to say you a yeah, package deal. Yeah. <laughs> Entertaining with Southern Charm. Okay. All right, all right, all right. 